My name is Peter Hughes, I'm the Senior Product Engineer on Clutch here at Wolgenbeck. We're in the Technical Centre, which is where we do all our audit checks and quality control. We can not only test clutches for approval to make sure what's going in the box is correct, but also we can also look after warranties and turn them around quickly. The warranty is two years unlimited mileage. The majority of reasons for clutches coming back are due to probably fitment errors. We've got the fitment errors of alignment and not checking dual mass flywheels, so consequently the clutches just won't last under those conditions. The correct alignment of a clutch on, on, on a vehicle is not necessarily with fitting it to the flywheel, it's after that when you're fitting the transmission up to the back of the engine, when you're engaging the actual spline through the clutch into the drive plate, then that needs to be done accurately. They need to use an alignment tool to get the drive plate in the middle of the clutch as they're assembling it to the flywheel, but then when they're putting the gearbox up to the car, they could really do with a, a gearbox lift. When you've got a flywheel in a worn condition like this, if you put a new clutch on it, what will happen if the springs in the flywheel have worn or broken down, then the hammering effect that comes from that will physically take out the spline on the driven plate. The other condition that can happen because of excessive end float on the moving face is the actual facing segments and the disc adapter into the hub can shuffle because of the deflections going on until it takes the rivet heads off and finally fails. Well this is the testing kit set up, there's a box it comes in and you've got this handle that you bolt to the flywheel with the various parts in the box and you can use it to rotate to find the angular movement. The dial gauge and stand which would be fitted on the back of the engine again is there for checking the end float which is over the limit because it should be 2.9 maximum so the bush is badly worn in the middle. Then we check the angular movement by rotating it with this lever and that's free movement which is 20 degrees and the free movement should only be 17. This one if you look at the spline in the middle it's been pushed right through and that is because the gearbox has been pulled up to the back of the engine using long bolts to wind it up without aligning the spline to the driven plate. This is one where the gearbox has been installed and they've let the gearbox drop and it's physically took the middle and pulled the middle of the plate apart.